Hey guys, it's me, MakeupMe2000, or you guys also know me as Chloe, and you probably guys don't remember me, and I don't have a really good excuse, um, I'm just lazy, and I haven't really thought of any ideas, like, I have this one idea what I want to do on my YouTube channel as a new series, but lately I have no idea what I've been wanting to do, and I was like, you know what, it's spring, so why not put up a spring makeup tutorial, like every other beauty girl, but... No, I decided I didn't want to because I like to not post videos, which is really sad. Um, I'm sorry if, like, I have a slope accidentally with mascara on last night. Um, but I'm in a new background, as you guys can see. I really like this background. It's kind of, like, cozy, you know, fun-looking background and stuff. This is actually my dining room slash living room, and so if it echoes, that's why. But if you guys want to see my very late um, spring makeup tutorial, then let's get started. Bye. Okay, the things you will be needing. I'm taking the Dream Fresh BB Cream by Maybelline. And you can, in spring, I like to go light. Now, you also know I am obsessed with this BB Cream. I always use it. But if you guys like more of a full coverage, then definitely I, I would say use foundation. Then taking my Cold Star Concealer in number one. Then my Stay Don't Stray Pressed Powder. Okay, so taking the NYX um, Primer Base, we're just applying this. You guys see me do this a million times before. I kind of stopped using it for a while, which was my mistake because it's so amazing. But I got back into the hang of it, and you just want to take and rub it all over your face. What I love about this is it kind of, okay, one thing I don't like about it is it gives you this white cast all over your face. But then when you put like BB cream and concealer on it, it helps and makes up for it. And this just helps really cancel out the redness. And I have a ton of redness everywhere. <gasps> it's really, really bad my redness. Then taking my BB cream and my stippling brush that I just got. And it's absolutely amazing. And I'm just going to apply this in circle motions back into my face. Now what I love about the stippling brush, it gives off such a great coverage, but also it just gives such a natural appearance and I love it and it's just amazing this brush. Um, it was totally worth the price. The price was about, I don't know how much this would be in America, but here it's like 12 euros. It's probably like $18 for a brush. I know it's crazy, but this is like a high-end brush here in Italy. Um, but it's totally worth it. I love it. Oh, and I just put myself in my, but I really recommend if you don't have a stippling brush, go get it. Then taking my concealer again, you know, putting it in my necessary areas. I think we've all seen these areas before. And then you want to blend out your taking concealer. my stay matte powder. I am just patting this onto my face because BB creams can give off a very um, dewy appearance and I I like a dewy slash matte appearance so if you know it's all up to you but this will just help it won't I like about this matte it just doesn't cake on especially when you have a BB cream um, it just doesn't cake on at all it looks super natural and then what I like to do is just then buff it all in. Then taking my white eyeliner pencil, I'm going this going to apply it in the places where I need, so my inner corner. I like a really bright inner corner. Lately I've been obsessed with really bright inner corners, so I apply a ton there. Brow bone. You know, just places that I really want highlighted also. Now with a flat brush, I'm going to take a white eyeshadow and just really, you know, brighten up my eyes. So I'm applying this all over my lid in patting motion. And this is going to help the illusion of brighter eyes, especially because it's so bright. It's going to help my blue eye, like, it's all white. It's going to help my blue eyes really, really stand out. Then for my inner corner, I'm taking Venus from my Naked Palette and just applying this into my inner corner. And also onto my brow bone because I like shimmer on my brow bone. Don't judge me, people. <laughs> I love 
Give me some shimmer. Taking my Pupa Electric Blue eyeshadow. I am going to apply this into my waterline lightly. And what I love about this eyeshadow is that it, like again, blue is my favorite color and it's just going to help really my eyes pop. But it seemed a little too dark, so I'm just applying a lighter shade of blue on top with the same brush just to help lighten it up. Then taking Cray from my Naked Basics palette, I'm applying this with a very, very thin, small brush. And I'm applying this to my upper lash line. What this will do is help give the illusion of fuller looking lashes. Then taking a black eyeliner. To really make my eyelashes look really voluptuous, <laughs> very volumized, I'm going to apply this into my upper waterline. my Ulta Amped Lashes, and this is going to help define my lashes and give it length. Just applying this to my lashes from the bottom to the top, and I love this because it really lengthens my eyelashes, and since I already give my eyelashes volume by um, applying eyeshadow and stuff we don't really need a volumizing mascara also because that already did the job because my face is looking a little flat I'm going to add some bronzer to my face so I'm taking the Hula blush from Benefit and then you're going to find the contour of your face so fishy face And lightly dust this on, and this is going to make your face look thinner. And it's going to help bring some color back to your face and warmth, and also bring it down to your jawline. and a little bit on your temples. Then taking the same powder brush I used to apply my stay mat, I'm just blending it over so it looks natural. Then taking High Beam by Benefit to highlight the uh, places on my face. And I'm going to do this on the top of my cheekbones just to really highlight them. And then what I like to use, because there's some pink in it, I like to make my cheeks look fuller. So I apply this here. And I don't care if my face looks like a shiny disco ball. That's how I like it. And I blend it out very well. And then some on my cupid's bow and then on the lower part of my lid and blend it all away. Then for my lips, I'm taking this tinted lip balm by La Bella, and it is in cherry. Pom and what this granite. will do is moisturize on my lips, but also tint them at the same time. The best part, it smells like pomegranates and cherry. Yeah. And this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's very springy, very summery, and very fresh. And I know it's blue was really like a pop of color like really outgoing so if that's not your style then don't do it and just do the other things but you know it's all up to you and your style for spring so I hope you guys had a great great spring because our entire spring has literally literally have ranged everywhere everywhere and so that's why I'm doing it inside today because it's freezing cold outside but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this video. Comment down below what I should do next as a makeup tutorial. And until next time, bye guys!